Hi, this is Bob Byman. You know, 99% of the people that have come to me for lessons over the last two decades plus now have not had a system that produced the kind of results that they wanted to have in their game. You know, everybody brings their own system to me, and yet, as you want to improve in golf, the degree of acceptability, the parameters that are allowed to play good golf get narrower and narrower as you want to get better. So what are some of the things that you can do in order to really take control of your game? Now I usually like to start with everybody that I have, I like to try to come in the front door and that means the most basic thing. Not everybody's acceptable to that, so sometimes I can't do it. Sometimes you got to come in the back door, sometimes you got to come in the side doors. But the front door is usually the way we go, and that means how we actually put our hands on the club. Now I see just over and over and over again people putting their hands on the golf club in a way that does not allow for their athletic ability and their degree of concentration to hit the shots that they want to hit. It's just literally impossible. In the end, physics will always win. So what are the most basic thing, just the most basic thing that you have to do in order to take control of your game? Look, anybody that has ever dominated this sport in their prime, every player now, that has had seven majors or more, male or female, doesn't make any difference, have done this thing that I'm about to tell you. Everybody has had the palms of their hands facing each other when they're on the grip. Now this particular group of players not only had their hands facing each other, but they had their hands facing in the same line as the leading edge of the golf club. And what that means is that they are able when they put their grip on and it's square with the club face that their hands literally become the club face. So when they swing the club back and swing it forward the hands always want to come back to square and therefore the club face always wants to come back to square as well. Now anybody that grips the club with both hands this way on the club that would be commonly called a strong grip the hands still have the same natural propensity to come back to straight up and down. The club face will always want to come in closed. That person will always tend to hook the ball when they swing actually the most naturally. So when they're under the most pressure, generally those players always miss the ball to the left, low, curving to the left. Then they do that, they experience that, and then of course they miss it high to the right. Okay? So that is an absolute. Anybody who does that experiences that. Now, anybody who grips the club with both hands that way on the golf club, the hands still want to come back to straight up and down. The club face always tends to come in open. That person always slices the ball. They hit it high, short, and it's always curving to the right. All those people generally end up aiming to the left, and it is just a get into a negative feedback loop. There's no way to hit the ball properly. Now there's, a, there's another category that I see fairly regularly with beginning golfers. Golfers that shoot maybe a hundred uh, and more. And they have one hand that's weak, the left hand's weak, and then the right hand is strong. When the left hand dominates, the club face is open. When the right hand dominates, the club face is closed. Those people just cannot find a golf course that is wide enough for them. So what is the, everybody, they just have so much time to spend on improving their game. So the easiest way to do that is to make sure that the palms of your hands are facing each other and in the same line as the club face. Whether you feel very well that day or not very well that day, the club face always wants to and tends to want to come back to square. Now this is the premise of my new book, I want to introduce that to all of you. It's called The Absolute Best Grip in the World. How to Finally Take Control of Your Golf Game. Now it will be available 
to everyone on my website, BobBymanGolf.com, starting December 1st. Please look for it. And not only in that book, that's part one, is, the, uh, is a very detailed, the most detailed uh, explanation and, and procedures to how to, you can get the best grip in the world. And part two is about the rest of your golf swing. So it's a very complete book, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you.